Like on Friday afternoon, this is Champion Square, where that festival is happening. If you have outdoor plans this evening, you're in luck because the weather is beautiful. But what about the rest of the weekend? I'm here with Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr. I was just thinking how much fun Damon's going to have tonight and how much he's going to eat. I Absolutely. mean, he got the best <laughs> ticket in town. That's what I'm saying. All right, let's look at what's happening. The weather, I think, is pretty nice. What we have is high pressure to the east, and you're seeing that kind of light green shading over us. So that's where there is the potential for thunderstorms. The greater chance is to our north where you see that yellow. So what we have is a little upper level disturbance that's going to take this trajectory and much of the precip is actually ahead of it. So I don't see a big chance of rain for us, but look, we do have a severe thunderstorm watch to the north. What I do see is the potential for southwest Mississippi to get some stronger storms overnight. But tonight, if you're going to uh, Boudin Bourbon and Beer, I think that's what it's called, I think you're going to be fine. Besides, they've got a tent. So a few clouds out there we can zoom in, and we're seeing a couple of isolated showers. It's not much. You lose the heating of the day, and we should lose that rain. But look, here we are, 3 o'clock in the morning. That's that rain I was showing you up into Arkansas, and that's going to be pushing to the southeast. So it may impact South Mississippi. For us tomorrow, isolated shower. So here is a look at the big picture. Here comes that little area of disturbed weather moving southeast, kind of dying down. Isolated shower for tomorrow. We're going to be warm above average, average high temperatures, mid 70s. We're going to be in the low to the mid 80s all the way through Tuesday. Now, we do have record high temperatures for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday at 86. I don't think we're going to hit 86. We'll be close to record highs. But the bigger concern is that we're going to have fog every morning. We had a dense fog advisory this morning. We could have one again tomorrow. So just stay weather aware. So for the LSU Bama game up in Tuscaloosa, a little bit of rain around early. And then I think just mostly cloudy, near 70, temperatures dropping into the 60s. For the Buccaneers versus the Saints over at the Superdome, I think the weather cooperates. It's going to be warm, so for tailgating, fog early in the morning, slight, 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 slight chance of rain in the afternoon. Not a big concern. Crepuscular rays. Matthew just sent that in. Isn't it gorgeous? Had to share it with you. High temperature today, 84. The average, 75 degrees all across the area. We were in the low to the mid 80, 78 Grand Isle, 86 Bogalusa, just to give you the range. 83 degrees now. The humidity is high and winds are variable for the most part. So we can look at our temperatures. We're in the upper 70s to the mid 80s right now. It's pretty pleasant. As you go into the evening, we're dropping to near 70 to the mid 70s. Friday night football, I think you're looking just fine. Full beaver moon is tonight at 1223. So be sure you look up and that's because the beavers are out this time of the year and they're making their dams. That's how it was named by the Algonquin Indians. As for fog, I do see fog again in the morning. It'll burn off. And then as you go into Sunday morning, look at what happens again. Be aware of that fog potential. So as we look at our forecast, low 80s tomorrow afternoon, daylight saving time. We say goodbye. You get that extra hour of sleep. It gets dark earlier. And then as you go into next week, the real potential for a cold front to move through. You'll notice it by Wednesday. Margaret,